And then I had a dream. By the time I came to, they were no longer no, seen. No, sorry. Sorry, I can't be of help to you, Kazuha. Sorry. I was convinced they'd never show up again. But sure enough, I saw them nearby a few days later. And they weren't alone. I feel like they aren't as afraid of me as the first time I approached them. But I never would have expected them to save me. What fascinating yes, creatures. Yes, no doubt about that. By the way, Tainari mentioned in his letter that you had questions for me regarding Ermansoul. <laughs> Sorry about that. Sounds like just drinking juice still isn't quite enough for my stomach. Yeah, you need to eat well, salad food. Well, somebody hadn't dropped the food earlier... <sighs> anyway, looks like we'll need to prepare something ourselves. Besides, Paimon's getting hungry too. Let's eat first and talk about Ermansoul later. Alright, we're up, Traveler. Today's menu will feature sweet madame and a radish veggie soup. You'll love them, Hepasia. They're our specialties after all. Mmm, sounds good. I've never tried any dishes from other nations before. I certainly look forward to it. It's been so long since I've had a decent meal, too. To be honest, the last time had to be when Tainari came to visit. <laughs> Are you already finished cooking? Mmm, smells delectable. I'm truly thankful whenever I can enjoy a proper meal like this. I already had the food. Cooking really isn't my forte. Huh? I feel like... Okay. Alright, let's go cook some dinner. Are you already finished cooking? Yep. All done. There we go. Even though everything you mentioned was in Tainari's letter, it's still hard to believe you were able to connect with Ermansoul immediately after smelling spirit born eel for the first time. It took me nearly three years before I could do so. And everyone at the Academia even lauded me as a genius. You should know that some researchers spent their entire lives without ever successfully connecting with Ermansoul as you have. So why does this incense allow people to connect to Ermansoul? The ingredients used to make spirit born eel primarily consist of plants created by Greater Lord Ruka Devata. These special ingredients are conducive to heightening our senses to the Dendro Archon's power. Since the root of the Dendro Archon's power lies within Ermansoul, we can occasionally to Earth. Sorry, That's lost all right. Here. I'm sure you'll come to a clear understanding as you remain in Sumeru. Hmm. Makes sense. But Paimon's got a question. Why was she sensitive to the smell of those plants for such a long time? That was primarily due to her body's unique constitution. Stimulated by the incense, she could perceive the Dendro Archon's power and experience the sensory overload. Hence, the adverse reactions. Taking in any scent similar to the ingredients of Spirit Born Ale would cause adverse effects. Not to worry, though. It appears you've already fully recovered. 
Technically, your body should still be sensitive to the powers of the Dendro Archon. But unless you're using intentional meditation techniques, the scent of Spiritborn Ale should no longer trigger such reactions. Whew. Well, that's a relief. I must admit, I am quite envious of your abilities. Even if it meant suffering from pounding headaches for the rest of my life, I'd consider it worthwhile so long as I could connect with Ermansoul at will. Whoa! You're really serious about this whole thing, aren't you? <laughs> I am a researcher, after all. As a member of the Ritaoist Darshan at the Academia, my main area of research is the stars and their connection to the fate of living beings. But there is still so much we don't know, especially regarding the mysteries that lie in the starry skies. Which is why I must turn to the all-knowing Ermansoul for answers. If only my perception wasn't so limited. Unfortunately, I cannot guarantee that my every attempt to attune with Ermansoul will be successful, or that doing so will leave my consciousness intact. I am currently in the stage of training known as Satyavada Life. Many researchers in Sumeru have lost their minds while seeking to attune with Ermansoul during this stage. Sages have said that Ermansoul contains divine knowledge, and touching such knowledge without the proper preparations and abilities will only lead to one's mind caving in on itself. That's why we meditate alone. We need to ensure that our minds will be calm while minimizing the possibility of involving anyone else. Whoa! So knowledge from Ermansoul can be super dangerous! Aren't you afraid of the risks, Hapeja? Of course I do. Especially during nights that are pitch black with no moonlight. And dead silent without even the sound of insects. However, I've been feeling better as of late. I don't get as scared anymore knowing that I have a little neighbor living nearby. Aww. I believe that being able to see them is a sort of blessing from the Dendro Archon. <laughs> but what's strangest of all is that they're clearly an envoy of the God of Wisdom herself. And they have the curious power to make people dream. What's so strange about that? It doesn't sound so out of place for a divine being, does it? Well, it's strange because nearly nobody in Sumeru can ever dream. Hmm. Oh, is that true? Yes, well, to an extent. Only children can dream in Sumeru. Adults, however, never do. The sages say that wisdom implies rationality, but that which occurs in dreams is often neither rational nor logical. Yes, if one struggles with anxieties, those emotions could influence their dreams. The fact that the people of Sumeru do not have dreams is seen as a blessing by the sages. They believe that Greater Lord Ruka Devata, the God of Wisdom, is keeping us away from the foolish delusions you encounter in your sleep. I was born into a family of scholars in Sumeru City. Ever since I was a child, my parents would always tell me that I'll know I've grown up once I stop dreaming. I studied hard, enrolled as a student in the academia, and went on to become a researcher. <sighs> sure enough. I never dreamed again. But then, on the day I scared the little Aranara, I suddenly saw a dream again. It was incredible. Though I don't exactly remember what I saw, I clearly recall the feeling. I suddenly felt like I was a child again. Back then, I was foolish and ignorant as any youth would be. But I was free of fear. Maybe dreaming isn't as bad as we've made it out to be. <clears throat> Just be sure not to speak of this if you travel to Sumeru City. They'll look at you as if you've lost your mind. So, do you have any thoughts about the things she saw when she connected with Ermansoul? Sorry. I'm afraid I don't have any answers as of now. All I can say is that what you saw is a memory contained within Ermansoul itself. Hmm. World, forget me. What could that possibly mean? Uh... If only I could ascend past Satyavada life and begin Paripurna life, I might have some more answers for you. Ah, if you two are ever in the area again, please be sure to come and see me. Thanks, Apeja. Thanking me. You two are my saviors. Besides, I'm already looking forward to tasting some more of your cooking. <laughs> Hapasia is 
all right and had the chance to ask her some questions, Paimon thinks it's about time to head back to Gondarvaville. See ya, Peja. Oh, higher up. this rain come from? Are you gonna be okay? Um, here, I'll lend you my coat. Think about it, Tainari. Refusing to join is tantamount to burying your head in the sand. I understand that you're a forest watcher, and that it's your duty to combat the effects of withering zones. But isn't it evident that such work is not a lasting solution to the problem? As Sage Kaje clearly stated, your presence and guidance in Sumeru City is pivotal in finding a cure for Ermansul. How could you possibly refuse? Keep your emotions in check, Gulam. Let's at least listen to Tainari's reason for declining. We're here to invite him to the Academia, not to cause a scene. Sage Kaje, I am truly honored that you came here in person. But I'm afraid I must still decline your invitation. I am merely a forest watcher. How could the great minds of the Harabatat have any need of someone like me? <laughs> well, it turns out that your refusal letter had some implications on your master's reputation. He is a renowned sage of the Immorta, after all. So now I've come here in his stead. I see. Huh. And I figured that given his temper, he would come here and berate me personally. Tainari, your master is an integral part of this effort, and now he requires your assistance. I'm going to... Yeah, I'm gonna fix myself lunch and get back to this. <laughs> 